Hey guys, Eric Sargent, General Manager at Ed Martin Toyota in Noblesville, Indiana, and today I'm going to show off the 2400 watt inverter in a 250 series Land Cruiser and why that's so important. Let's get started. Okay, so what I want to talk about today is adding a fridge to a 250 series Land, Cru Land Cruiser platform. What is really cool about the Land Cruiser 250 series, in my opinion, the number one selling point is really the inverter. So they all come with it. It doesn't matter if it's a 1958 or if it's a first edition or anything in between, but the 2400 watt inverter is a lot of power. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's the same as a 20 amp circuit in your house, which means that yes, you can plug a lot of stuff to it, but also it charges really, really fast. <clears throat> so the fridge that I have in my personal Land Cruiser, which we're looking at here is the EcoFlow Glacier. EcoFlow is not sponsoring the video. I bought this uh, myself. Um, although if they would like to send me some free stuff, I would gladly take it. Um, I'm in the EcoFlow environment, um, so it's nice to have an, an EcoFlow product because the app is very, very nice and it operates all your devices you know, in one central place. But the main reason why this fridge is good, even if you're not in the EcoFlow ecosystem, is that this fridge is a fridge freezer. It also makes ice cubes and it has a battery. <clears throat> so when you're driving, any car is going to be able to juice up a fridge through a 12-volt system. It doesn't matter the power, really. But once the car is off and you go on a hike or you're camping, you're still gonna to wanna to maintain your items to be cold, whether they're frozen or refrigerated. So what's really cool about this fridge is that there's a battery that you can buy as an accessory. It's a couple hundred dollars, but it slides in the, in the actual fridge. And ultimately, when the car's off, it's still running as a normal refrigerator if it was, as if it was plugged in, which I think is really, really cool. So what you do, um, obviously 224 watt inverter is kind of what we're talking about here today and plug it in it's going to have this it's going to take this battery that's basically at empty you're going to be able to hit the inverter button and then this battery is going to fully recharge in about an hour so one hour of runtime on the vehicle the, obviously the inverter does have to be you know can only be on while the car is running but you turn that inverter on you go for a short drive and you got your battery all the way juiced up for another day of, for another day of doing whatever you're doing so part two i'm going to go ahead and talk about adding additional layer of of, of battery capability with this 2400 watt inverter and this 250 Land Cruiser. So we talked about using the fridge by itself, this EcoFlow Glacier that has the battery built into it. But um, if you're gonna be camping and you're not gonna be able to start the car to, re to restart, uh, to recharge the battery, I'm gonna add another layer of additional battery for your other gear that's not a refrigerator necessarily. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the EcoFlow Delta um, 2 Max, and this is a basically a um, a 200 amp hour battery and an inverter, 2400 watt inverter. So it's actually got the same inverter power as the car does. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fridge my, and I'm going to just plug it in the back of the, uh, of the EcoFlow uh, Delta 2 Max. <clears throat> okay. Then I'm going to take my, my Delta 2 Max and I'm going to plug it in the factory inverter right here. <clears throat> so now when I have, uh, when I have my, my fridge has a battery in it and so it's, it's running off the battery currently because the car's off. Um, and then this is, and then if this battery were to completely deplete to nothing, to zero, <clears throat> it's actually going to power off of the Delta 2 Max because this is, it thinks that it's plugged into AC right now. So as, so as, as it currently sits, this fridge thinks it's plugged into the wall and it's not even using its own battery. So th if this Delta completely dies down, then it'll still kick over to the battery that's built into the fridge. So you have basically many, many days, possibly even a week of running the current load off just this refrigerator without even starting your car up. <clears throat> um, because it's a 2400 watt inverter in this vehicle, I can get, take this this battery right here from zero to 100% in less than an hour, and then I would have another full week's worth of charging just this refrigerator with no no additional load on it. The beauty of this platform is that because this is such a versatile uh, inverter, that I can use the inverter with the car off. So if I'm at a campsite, I don't want to have my car on. I'm just going to use this Delta II Max <clears throat> for all my stuff. And then when I go back to, um, to start driving again, I'm just going to hit the inverter button and it's going to totally charge up this system and it's going to backflow into this. So this to me is, a, is the perfect setup. 
I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how this works with, um, and, and on how this charges because EcoFlow has a really pretty app that I'm going to go ahead and turn the car on. I'm going to turn the inverter on and then I'm going to um, put some B-roll of my phone so you can see exactly how fast this thing's charging up. So it's, a, it's got dual zone fridge and freezer. It's 100% battery life. So right now the car is on, but the inverter is not turned on. Um, so right now I'm going to go ahead and go back to my main screen. And I'm gonna, and as you can see, my Delta, my Delta Two Max right here is um, at 27%. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and right now, if you look at the timestamp on my uh, phone, it's 9:54. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my inverter on real quick, and, and we're gonna see how much, how quickly it charges this. Okay, so I just hit the inverter button. It's gonna take a second to turn on. And you can see the input as it crawls up. So we were at 9.54, we're at 27%. I'm gonna let this run for a couple minutes and we're just gonna, and I'm doing a screen capture right now. So we'll come back in about five minutes or so, and we're gonna see how far more than 27% it is. Okay, so we've let the car run for four or five minutes now. I think we started at 27%, now we're at 32%. I think we're four minutes into it. So as you can see, it's going up a little bit more than 1% per minute. So even if this thing was, even if this was at um, complete zero, you'd be able to charge it in probably a little bit more than an hour. So on my setup, um, the way that I position this is I take the EcoFlow Delta, Delta 2 Max and I actually put it right behind the fridge. So let me do that real quick. Okay, and then come on in here real quick. And then you can see that it kind of fits it behind there just perfect. And you still have room to put something on top of it if you want to keep additional uh, cargo in the vehicle. And then essentially you're working with about this much cargo space. So you're, you're, you're basically giving a third of the vehicle to the fridge. Then there may be smaller fridges out there that are more practical, but this is again, the one that I chose because it just kind of fits with the battery, with the system, with the inverter. Everything kind of works in harmony as I would anticipate without having a dual battery setup that's much more complicated. And it's very portable because you can take this battery out and use it in your house if the power goes out, bring it to your tent at your campsite or whatever. So this is the fridge setup that I have in my own personal 250 series Lane Cruiser. I'm not saying it's the best setup, there could be better ones out there, um, but based on the system and the way that everything kind of talks and the control that I have with the inverter using my phone and the application, this is the best setup that I've come across and I'm very excited to have this exact setup in my 250 series Land Cruiser, and this inverter is a game changer for overlanding and camping. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys like it, please hit thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future Land Cruiser content.